Hey everybody, um, before I get started with my actual video topic, I just have to say that I watched the Ellen um, special at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and I'm like freaking out because it was amazing. My two favorite things just combined, Ellen and Harry Potter. And there are 103 days until I will be in Orlando, Florida at the Wizarding World and I am so thrilled. Um, <laughs> it's insane. I'm more excited about that than like graduation and the semester being over. It's weird. But that's not what I'm going to talk about today. Um, I'm going to talk about coming out of the broom closet. Um, there was an article last week, I think, on Witchbox. Maybe it was this week. I don't remember. About, uh, choosing when it would be most prudent to come out um, and when it would not. I've noticed that a lot of people feel like they need to tell their parents or their friends or whatever about their spirituality so that they can find acceptance. And I would have to warn you that it's not always the best idea. I originally thought that my mother would be really accepting of my spirituality because she'd always told me that all spiritual paths had meaning and they were all valid. <laughs> but what she was really saying was that they were fine for other people but not her daughter. And it took me a while to understand that she was never going to accept my spirituality. I tried to tell her about it several times and now we just avoid the, the topic altogether. She'll occasionally make comments, like she just, she was in town this week and she went in my bedroom and saw my altar. And usually she won't say anything, but this time she was, she said something about um, how I needed to get rid of the false idols in my bedroom and it went on for a few minutes and I just kind of sat there in silence like it'll pass. That was really the point when I realized she's never going to accept it because she feels guilty for failing me I guess and as a mother um, and kind of damning me to hell by not being able to guide me in the right direction spiritually in her mindset. Which is difficult for both of us, I think. Um, so you, you really have to figure out what you can handle because even if you're sure that your parents are going to be accepting or your friends or your coworkers or whatever, you really need to think about what you might be able to handle and what you might not be because they might not be as accepting as you think they will be. And it's difficult a lot of times you'll lose friends and family because our spiritual path isn't as accepted as others, obviously, even though it's getting to be more and more accepted. It's still a long way to go before we'll be considered, you know, like the mainstream religions. As far as work, it's always going to be dangerous there because of discrimination and things like that. Um, so you really have to think about that too because unless you're sure that your coworkers and your boss are going to really accept you, it's probably not wise to be out at work because you could face discrimination and as much as people will say that it's illegal, you can't always prove it. I mean, it's, most of the time it's not going to be really obvious that they discriminated against you because you were pagan. In most cases, they're not going to walk up to you and be like, oh, I don't like you because you're a witch, so you're fired. Um, so even if you take them to court, it might not go in your favor, even if you're sure that it was because you were pagan. And, um, and I'm not trying to reinforce any sort of persecution complex because I really don't think that most people are discriminated against as much as they think they are or like to say they are. But it is a factor that you need to consider in coming in determining whether or not you should come out of the broom closet. My personal situation, how I'm going about it, is I'm open about what I am and what I'm doing spiritually because if I am going to be clergy one day, 
kind of need to be out to be able to find people from my coven and to work with people in the community. However, I realized that that could cause issues for me with my job or future job. <laughs> um, and I've accepted that as a issue related to my chosen path. As far as my parents, we, well, my, my father's pretty much fine with it. Um, but with my mother and I just won't talk about it, I suppose, from now on. I mean, she'll probably continue to make her comments like she does. Um, so there's that. <laughs> and as far as people trying to convert you after you come out, I don't really know what you can do about that. I mean, as we experienced with a YouTuber on one of my videos, and I'm sure as we'll continue to experience on YouTube, there will be people that will try to uh, proselytize and convert us, and that's part of their religion, as I said, so we kind of have to accept that and respect their religion and their choice to exercise their religion as they choose. However, I would urge you not to take it too much to heart. Most of the time they will not mean you disrespect or harm personally. Um, sometimes they will. And for anyone who's watching this video, it's planning on posting and trying to convert anyone. I've never understood people trying to convert others online because chances are if you're pagan, your parents or your friends or somewhere down the line, someone has tried to convert you in person. Someone you care about most likely. So going online and trying to convert someone is kind of weird because why would my hearing that I'm going to hell from my mother not affect me but a stranger online suddenly gets to me it just doesn't make sense to me but I mean if they choose to exercise their faith in that way and they feel like it makes sense and that they're called to do that and they they're obligated to they can go ahead anyway I guess that's the majority of what I wanted to say about coming out of the room closet once again really unfocused as my videos tend to be and I guess that's all I have to say for today, and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.